Can you kind of tell me your opinions and thoughts on the notion that, you know, Math 55 is the hardest undergraduate math course in the country? I actually don't think that's entirely accurate. There's a lot of material. It's kind of like several classes combined into one class. Um, and there is kind of a long piece set every week. Um, but it's usually very fun. And there are a lot of really interesting problems. Um, I think what makes Math 55 unique is the group of people who usually take it. Um, all of them are very passionate about math um, and learning a lot of math on their own and things like that. Um, so you really find a wonderful mathematical community and make friends there that you'll probably be taking classes with for many years if you're a math concentrator, for example. Um, but I also think that it's kind of inaccurate to say that Math 55 is the hardest math course in the country. Um, I think that anyone who is kind of decently good at math and prepares a little bit in advance maybe um, and is willing to work really hard can do well in the class. So would you say that its reputation can potentially scare you know, prospective students off even before they get into the college? Yeah, I think for sure. I think um, the reputation, like I said, isn't really completely fair. Um, so there are two things to keep in mind, which is, first of all, if you don't take Math 55, you can basically learn all of the content of Math 55 by taking other classes. It will just take longer. Um, and second of all, um, I've seen lots of students who like didn't come into college having a ton of proof experience or having taken many courses beyond calculus or things like that who did really well in Math 55 and were able to catch up to the other students who had done a ton of math in high school really quickly. What was the most interesting thing you learned in Math 55? That's a hard question. Um, there were lots of really interesting things. I think I had two favorite units. Um, one was something called representation theory, which was at the end of the first semester. Um, so throughout the first semester, we develop some, something called abstract algebra, and we do a lot of linear algebra. And then representation theory is kind of a combination of those two, field, of those two fields in a really interesting way. Um, so coming into college, I had seen a little bit of abstract algebra and a little bit of linear algebra, but representation theory was something that was super new to me, so that was really interesting. Um, and there are just a lot of very beautiful and surprising facts which come out of it even at the very beginning. Um, and then in the second semester, we do a unit on algebraic topology, um, which is kind of like topology is the field of math, which is similar to geometry, but you don't care about sort of rigid measurements, so you don't care about length or angles or things like that. You care about um, quantities such as the number of holes that an object has. Um, and algebraic topology is the study of assigning certain algebraic objects to these structures um, and then studying them via these algebraic objects. Um, so in algebraic topology, we learned about things such as the fundamental group, which is the first algebraic invariant that you can assign to a topological object. Um, so that going through that definition and realizing that you can distill all of this information about a space into something kind of discrete it was really interesting to me. So tell me, you took Math 55 freshman year. So where do you go from there? What are you taking now? And what's next class-wise? Personally, my career goals are to go into math academia. So I'm really interested in like pure math, which isn't necessary to take Math 55. There are a lot of people in Math 55 I know who are really interested in physics, for example, or stats or econ or so on. Um, but for me, I'm taking a lot more pure math courses. Um, so for example, I took in my freshman spring a math course called Math 123, which is kind of more algebra, which is kind of building on the first semester of Math 55. Um, then I this year I'm taking a sequence in topology, like what I mentioned about the second semester of Math 55. Um, so right out of Math 55, you can take this grad level topology course 231. Um, and then there's a sequence 231A and 231B. So I took 231A last semester and I'm taking 231B now. Um, in addition, I guess you can kind of take almost whatever you want, which is really nice. So I took like a set theory course at MIT for fun. Um, I took, um, oh my gosh, what did I take? <laughs> I took an analysis course um, in like measure theory and things like that last semester. And now I'm taking a number theory course and an algebraic geometry course. How many hours do you sleep per night? I'm actually very proud of my sleep schedule. I sleep like seven or eight hours every night.